are awake bitcoin whales are massively accumulating bitcoin right now are you missing the next big move in this video i'm gonna break down exactly what's going on in the bitcoin chart and where we could head from here smash up the likes do not forget to subscribe guys check this out i caught this exact bitcoin breakout over 24 hours ago i tweeted this exact triangle pattern you then saw as it was breaking out i shared that this could move up to the 45.5k region and now you can see Bitcoin storming here to the upside, now sitting just shy of that tough level, that 45k level, where we expect to see a lot of resistance. 45k is a level where many bears will be sitting trying to snipe the price down from there. So do not expect this region here between where we are now to 45.7 to break easily. But once it does break, expect a more powerful move up to the levels towards 49,000 and then 50,000. But there's an even bigger shift once we're one we're seeing the price action but we need to preempt the price action what is going on check this out the number of addresses with more than 1000 bitcoins so we're talking about 45 million dollars worth of bitcoin has gone up rapidly it's spiked up here to the upside as you can see here check that out guys big spike up here as the whales wake up and what is it the whales know the whales know very very simply this thing that people have left after the etf trade the people who are speculators the short-term traders who were just in it for a quick buck to trade the market they've now gone in come the hodlers in come the people who want to hold this through the halving hold this through the 2024 year and beyond and those are your long-term investing whales and the whales are stepping in right now and the question is are your bags locked and loaded are you ready for what could be a very very explosive move on crypto i mean if we just take a look here let me zoom out to the weekly chart you guys know that i said this arrow where i've drawn this arrow is going to be tough resistance and that's exactly where we're fighting now we're in a bit of a traffic light it's a bit of a tough moment but once we clear this level what do we know there's a clear path up back towards all-time highs of 69,000, and this is now what the next set of passengers are coming in for they're coming in for the next journey the first journey from 15,500 up towards 45 we've traded that if you've been following our videos on a day-to-day -day basis you dca through that you didn't panic you didn't sell your bitcoin you were buying more at 15,500 and 17,000 and 18,000 and now you're sitting here comfortable already three x three times up on some of your bitcoin purchases let alone some of your altcoins and we're sitting here getting ready for the next bit of the journey the next journey to take us up towards 69,000 and then into price discovery to find new all-time highs now if you guys want this alpha on a day-to-day -day basis even between videos make sure you're in our telegram community jarscrypto.com forward slash tg the link will be the very first one in the description i want to see as many of you guys as possible in our telegram community i drop voice notes i share free game how i find my all coins to trade trading setups alerts all kinds of things in that telegram group make sure you're in there it doesn't cost you a penny so you can see here bitcoin looking really really strong here opening this week up nice and positively in the green and so what we can see here is it didn't really want to come into its ema ribbon very very interesting but something important needs to happen one we need to see a daily a weekly body candle close above the previous body so if you look at all these body candle closes they all closed around that 43.9k level so far we're well above that but will we finish the week right on sunday night will we finish the week above this level if we do that's hugely bullish the other thing we need to take into consideration are the wicks hold up do you want to learn technical analysis you've come to the right place check out the link in the description to my ta course you're going to learn all things technical analysis and it's suitable for beginners head and shoulders pattern cup and handle ema ribbon bollinger bands if all of that is confusing you and you don't know how to use it in the right way the ta course is for you link is in the description and the wick on this candle particularly in the midst of the january etf hype saw us climb as high as 49,000. so i want to see can we push higher and create a higher high on bitcoin if we're unable to create a high and high i cannot be too gung-ho about this market i need to be very very patient and methodical because without a higher high you still are in a bit of a sideways trend and have the risk of curling over but so far things are looking really really bullish right now the bears were unable here to push the balls even into its into its weekly ribbon i mean this wick here during the week was the close 
closest they got to a pullback, there was no body candles into the EMA ribbon, no pullback. And so when we come into the daily chart, this is what we're seeing. We're seeing a very important riding of the EMA ribbon. We lost it briefly. Bulls gained it back very quickly. And now it's trying to bounce. But like I said just shortly, if this bounce cannot go above and create a higher high above this higher high, there's a risk, right? There's a risk we can just curl over. And so that's what I'm watching for here now on the Bitcoin price. In other news, we also got the US initial jobless claims just come through. And this is actually bullish information. So more jobless claims came through than expected, which is showing that the labor market could be showing signs of cooling off. Remember, you want negative labor market news to suggest that we can get a rate cut. And that's so far what we want to see. Now, remember, a lot of the other data, including GDP and other data, is suggesting that the economy is really healthy, which is telling us that Jerome Powell may not need to cut. So any information which tells us the economy is not healthy is what we want in the lead up to the next FOMC meeting. Now, of course, incidentally, we can take a look and refresh the interest rate, uh, the rates here to see how much of the market are pricing in a cut. And you just saw it just tick up a little bit here. So now this was 95%, it's now 84. So 16% of the market is starting to creep in this idea that we could still maybe get a rate cut in March. Now, remember, let's not get overzealous here. Jerome Powell all but pretty much said unlikely that we're going to get one in March. Like what data can come out that's going to justify one in March? And if we don't get a rate cut in March, that means the soonest we could get one is the next meeting on May the 1st, which means we go five months into 2024 without seeing our first rate cut, which could make markets rotate a little bit risk off. So for now, Bitcoin looking really strong. If you want to take a quick look at some of these altcoins as well, altcoins are moving quite nicely. We are seeing decent movements in certain altcoins. Solana rebounding very interestingly up 9%. Like I told you, go watch my video on Solana. Like it's an odd one. If you're investing in Solana, make sure you understand what you're getting, right? People invest in Solana don't care that there was downtime for five hours. If that was in any other project, this whole week would be a write-off at least, right? The price would retrace severely and there'll be a lot of negative consequences. But Solana just takes it in its stride. And part of that is the investors in Solana are so deeply rooted. And by the way, I'm saying this is somebody who holds Solana. So I'm not bagging on my own project. I'm just being transparent and real with you guys, as I always promise to be. The reality is with Solana is people don't care if it breaks. They literally don't care if it breaks. They just want the next big thing that's going to move fast and have uh, have good price pumps to the upside. So we're seeing Solana recovery here up 9%. Stacks moving 17%. Casper moving 17%. Again, if you want to see some of the trades I'm taking, make sure you jump into the Telegram group because I am actively trading this market as well. And you guys can join our community too. Also, let's check in on something really, really important, which is the Bitcoin dominant. If you take a look at the daily chart on the Bitcoin dominance, you'll see something really interesting start to happen. It's regaining its EMA ribbon, right? It's managed to flip it bullish again. But more importantly, let's head up to the weekly EMA ribbon. And this is what we're seeing. We're seeing it try to bounce here and break through the resistance at 53% on dominance. If it does, we could see another leg up here in dominance, which could see it start its journey up towards that 60% level, which I've been calling for, for a very, very, very long time. I was calling this from the end of 2022 that we could see this arrow up of us working towards 60% on Bitcoin dominance. Of course, that will lead to some of the altcoins stalling a little bit, but in the longer term side of things, that's good. Bitcoin needs to do its thing and then we'll see altcoins start to join it and do well. So watching Bitcoin closely here to see if Bitcoin wants to continue its next leg up. I do, however, want to warn of one thing and that is the dollar index, right? Normally we expect dollar index to go to the downside for Bitcoin to do well. When dollar index is moving to the downside, that means risk is rotating on and Bitcoin can do its thing and move to the upside. But right now, we're seeing that decouple again. We're seeing Bitcoin have a positive week so far, dollar index having a positive week so far. So the question is, which one is going to give? Which one is going to revert and it just be a flash in the pan before eventually we see it moving to the downside? So the question is going to be, can we reject the dollar index and start moving this to the downside? Or is this Bitcoin pump limited in time frame and maybe eventually markets will get spooked again and we get a bit of risk off? One more thing I wanted to share with you guys, and again, I tweeted it at real the Jazz one. Make sure you're following me over there. The returns during Chinese New Year have been insane. You can statistically look at this. Look at this. This is data from 10x Research, by the way. Buying Bitcoin three days before the Chinese New Year and selling Bitcoin. 
10 days after the Chinese New Year results in an average return of 11%. So do not underestimate the impact that the Chinese New Year holiday can have on crypto. We generally do see a lowing of volumes and then it picks back up when the Chinese market comes back over their holiday. So there you have it, guys. Whales are locked and loaded. There's no coincidence that whales are strategically adding to their Bitcoin bags right now, getting themselves in the market. What is it they know that you may not know? What is it that big players are deciding to jump into the market right now? You guys already know we're expecting loosening of monetary policy. We're expecting a Bitcoin halving year, which we know is pre-programmed. That can't go anywhere. So many things to play for here in the Bitcoin space, in the crypto space. Are you going to be in it? Or are you going to sit out as a spectator? You guys have to make that decision. You can't download my conviction. You have to build your own. I wish you the best of luck in the crypto markets. If you want to join us in the Telegram, link is in the very description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.